The Jito has fused. Permanently, in fact. After he did a number on Evil Boo, he was considered part for family for both parties. Eventually, Vibes fused too. Beerus has found a Super Saiyan God through Vegito, who performed the ritual, and Vegito did not disappoint. He even impressed Whis. My name is Michael from Vegeta T23, and welcome to What If Patara Fusion Was Permanent Part 2. Sit back and enjoy the intro. Hello everyone, before I get started, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel. You can unsubscribe at any time, it's free, and it gets me closer to 10,000 subscribers. Like the video too, so me and the YouTube algorithm become more than acquaintances. Also, join the T23 Discord server with the link in the description below. You can also follow my Instagram too, but only if you like random stuff on your feed. Now let us begin. After this nice talk with Whis and the fight with Beerus, Vegeta was maintained the power of the Super Saiyan God and is feeling proud, courtesy of Vegeta's side of the fusion. He said, This is amazing. All this power inside of one being. I thought that the Kai was powerful, but Beerus, oh, <laughs> I can't wait to battle him again. You do realize that he came here to destroy Earth, not fight. What if your little fight gave him the motivation to train? Nah, don't worry about it, baby girl. He gained my respect, and I gained his. Also, I've been trained with Whis, so if he tries something, he won't be able to, because I'll come up on the top. Fair, but I want to be the destruction fugitive slash victim of a destroyer god. Alright, babe. Any more food left? And so Vegito goes to eat the food, since he got tired from the fight. After the party was over, they get back to their normal routines. Sadly, Chi Chi's side of Bochi forces Vegito to work. Surprisingly, he does it, and instead of farming like Goku, he's forced to be in a quarry, watching over miners and gathering materials for all the Capsule Corp projects Bochi's cooking up in the little lab of hers. Starting the project she named Project of Time, which you can already guess what it is. In the meantime, Vegito and Bochi were visited frequently by Whis for food and to talk with them. Oh my god, Bochi, this is exquisite. Can you show me the recipe? Indeed is. So, this deal, the training, is it legit? Why yes, your husband has a lot of potential. Being a fused being, not only is fighting traits multiplied, but his potential has multiplied with the fusion. So training is gonna be good then? Yes. What about you, Bochi? Would you like to train? I can sense a pretty powerful key within you. Would you like to be my protege as well? I would, but... I have a company that needs to be maintained, and I'm also pregnant, so I can't move a lot. Well, let me help you with that. It's a regular maternal pregnancy, right? Uh, yes? Whis then makes quick work of Bochi's slightly bulging stomach, and gets the little baby girl out in the open, covered in blankets. Change their mind? You can breastfeed too, I have given birth to your baby, and boosted your hormonal changes that would happen during the pregnancy. Now, I'd like to appoint that boy with glasses too. Also, the kids that temporarily fused. Well, they would be a huge plus in training too. A training bargain sale? We appointed Vegito, Bochi, for some goddamn reason, and all three children to be Whis's apprentices. The baby was named Ashalot, part of Bochi's and Vegito's agreeing since they're both pent up with the same human fusee stuff and was given to Dr. Briefs and Panchi for daycare. And so, they all go to Beerus' planet. On there, Bochi was mostly cooking for starters. 
which was also training for her as we purposely made everything for cooking far away, boosting her stamina by a ton. Vegito and Gohan were both doing beer sleep maintenance and the two kids were sent for sparring and jogging around the premises. All was good for our crew. On Frieza's ship, however, Frieza's crew decided to revive Frieza and bring Terror back into the universe. They do so with flying colors. Frieza then vows to train for 4 months. At this point, the crew on Beerus' world has begun proper training. Vegeta was taught how to use and sense God Key alongside Gohan. Vegeta has already gotten his Super Saiyan God back, controlling it at will, and is getting the hang of it very easily. Gohan is still trying out for his mystic power, but we told him to experiment with it once he taps into God Key. So Gohan does exactly that, entering Super Saiyan God within a day. We saw incredible potential within everyone there. Bochi's cardio went well and is now taught how to sense key and advanced martial arts from both Whis and Vegito, as they spar together. She even sparred with Trunks and Goten and saw that these two are more of a match. All while Whis had a special plan for them, adjustable metamorphic fusion. So Whis trains the two extended usage of key and the key to maintaining the fusion for longer than just 30 minutes in base. After 10 months of them training, Vegito and Gohan have managed to attain Super Saiyan Blue. Goten and Trunks have mastered the fusion dance and Bochi has attained the expert key control and is able to sense God Key to get wet, I mean, cheer on her husband in terms of uh, power games. <laughs> Dr. Breeze called Whis, saying there's someone that needs to talk to Bochi. Whis gives the staff to Bochi and she sees Jocko, who briefly explains the Frieza situation. Bochi gets excited to fight him, thinking she's strong enough to take on Frieza from back then. Which she is, but Jocko explains how Frieza is frighteningly more strong than before. Bochi was pretty bummed to hear that, so she looks at Vegito, then Gohan, and then gives them both a thumbs up, to which they give the thumbs up back, with enthusiasm. So they use Vegito to travel back using instant transmission. Vegito remembered his way back and in perfect timing. Frieza lands on the planet. Are you mad enough to fight a girl? If not, then you probably have bigger ovaries than I thought you did. Enough, woman. You're just testing his patience. Well, I mean, you can fight him, but don't hurt him too much. With pleasure, honey. So Frieza, are you ready to get her ass folded to you? What's a girl going to do? With no warning, Bochi is on Frieza in an instant, punching him out of his little floaty pot. Bochi then went ahead and beat Frieza up quite a bit. Seeing that Bochi has no time to waste, Frieza goes straight to his final form and right hooks Bochi. Just as Bochi turns around, we see her beautiful, red eyes as she entered her own God state in a way, bursting an aura that resembles Super Saiyan God aura. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I shatter your ego? These kids and my husband are way stronger than me. So you better have some ass pulls in order to defeat me. Frieza gets triggered and fights Bochi. However, the two are pretty equal. If anything, Bochi is slightly ahead. Frieza is frightened but focused. <clears throat> so you think I cannot beat you, huh? Uh, considering my infant daughter can throw a stronger punch, suggest so, yeah. Then I better not waste any time and fight the strongest. Frieza begins powering up, going as hard as he can, and entering his golden form. Bochi gulps as she gets punched into the mountain, with Vegito running over to her rescue. Gohan then steps in. It's been quite a while since I've seen you, Frieza. Too bad your father isn't here to see you die, monkey. Oh, he is. He's fused with Vegeta. Helping the girl you dropped just now. So you wanna fight me? Fight you? No, I wanna kill you. Gohan then explodes in a blue aura. After a few seconds of show, he transforms into Super Saiyan Blue and floats over to Frieza, who is visibly angered. Frieza then punches Gohan and he flies away. However, Gohan catches himself, imploding his aura and making his hair even more blue with a white glow. 
he has reached the ultimate blue state. As he flows back to Frieza, landing a punch on Frieza so strong that Frieza spits out blood and falls back to his final form immediately after. Gohan catches him. Is that it? Frieza returned to his hell only to experience new hell. That one was for my mother. As Gohan completely obliterates Frieza. No planet destruction or anything. Gohan drops back to base, still maintaining his mystic, and flies over to his fused mother, who regained consciousness. Once she gets back to her senses, she comments how she never had so much thrill, growing to like fighting just like the Saiyans. Vegeta and the kids are glad to see their mob actually having fun fighting, making Goten and Trunks extremely excited. With that, Bolchi, Trunks and Goten go back to Capsule Corp. Gohan goes back to his studies and being with Waddell throughout the rest of the pregnancy and Vegito is back on Beerus' world and is continuing his training. Going to sleep at Capsule Corp so he spends more time with Bochi and his newborn daughter. And with that, we're leaving things be for now. Thank you for watching. If you think this is worse than before then click dislike but if you liked the video hit that like button. Please feel free to check out my sparring partners on my channel page and, you know, give them some love. If you'd like me to cover your idea in the near future, comment down below. And as always, peace out.